You are about to see the Hourglass Sanatorium, a film by Wojciech Jerzy Haas from 1973, one of the most unusual films in the history of Polish cinema. It's based on the prose by Bruno Schulz, a writer who only left behind uh, two slim novels and some short stories and many, many sketches, and whose life was quite tragic, but whose vision really persists and who remains one of the most fascinating and one of the most dense uh, authors in the history of Polish literature in the 20th century. Wojciech Jerzy Haas uh, made the Saragossa manuscript in 1965, and he made a number of films that marked him really as a very individual artist within Polish film history. He was never much interested in politics, but he was very interested in creating incredibly detailed visual worlds on the screen. And here you will see probably his ultimate masterpiece as he recreates the world of the imagination of Bruno Schulz, in which the past and the present and the future all merge together, but also as he is recreating the world of the Jewish diaspora in Poland before the two world wars. Uh, it's a really a time travel into a, a Jewish community that became eradicated by the Holocaust and a community that has lovingly presents on the screen as both real and imagined in a Poland that was still dominated by the Austro-Hungarian Empire, but which persisted with a very lively cultural life and also with imagination of Schulz, who merged his own fantasy with history. You are about to see a film of incredible car colorful vision, a film that was awarded and celebrated at Cannes Film Festival, but also a film that was not really liked by the communist authorities of Poland in the 70s, since some of the of, uh, politicians didn't like uh, the Jewish past of Poland to be reminded by this film. The result was a huge artistic success, but also a huge uh, problem for Haas, who for several years had trouble raising money for his future projects. However, this remains his visual masterpiece with beautiful cinematography by Witold Sobociński and a unique vision of Polish past, both real and imagined, the Hourglass Sanatorium, the year 1973.